Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy Joy for those of you who do not know. We are going to be doing a rice water recipe, not just a rice water recipe, but a Yahweh women's rice water recipe. If this looks like something that you are interested in and you want to document your journey, continue to watch. Also, please do not forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell notification. All right, y'all, so we have 10 steps to follow. The first step is we're just gonna get a bowl and add some rice inside. Doesn't matter what the measurements are, just add your rice and add some water. Then you're gonna to wanna to proceed by cleaning off that first layer of rice because we don't wanna put dirt in our hair, right? So go ahead and just rub your fingers through the water, swirl it around a little bit, and just try to get that first layer of rice off. And then we're gonna wash it out. Now, step two, we're gonna add new water, clean water, but we're not gonna pour it out this time. We're gonna keep this water and we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna rub our hands through this water so that we can get the right nutrients from our hands and from the rice to create a cloudy-like water that we want to use. And you're gonna wanna rub this through your hands about for five to 10 minutes. I think I did it for at least 10. All right, for step three, we're going to take that cloudy water and we're going to transfer that cloudy water into a pot. It doesn't matter what pot you use, as long as you just use an effective pot that can be put on the stove. All right, for our step four, we are going to be using a citrus fruit to change the smell of our rice water. The Yaw women use a special fruit called red pomelo. This is a fruit that we do not have in our local stores. So using the next best thing in the citrus family, such as an orange, can help this process. All right, for our step five, 
we're going to take our orange peels that we cut up and place that into the pot. And we're gonna let that pot with the oranges boil for eight to 10 minutes. And I went ahead and I used 10 minutes just to make sure that the orange peel slices really concentrated that water because I do not want my rice water to smell. For step six, we're gonna go ahead and transfer everything that was in that pot into a new bowl, and we can go ahead and allow our oranges to fall inside. For step seven, we're gonna go ahead and transfer that now kind of cooled down cold water and place that into a mason jar. But do not forget to add your orange slices. For step eight, to make sure or to ensure that your rice water does not smell, I went ahead and used a lavender essential oil. And by the looks of this, I think I put the whole bottle because I just want to guarantee that the smell did not stink when applying it to my head. <laughs> Step nine, we're gonna go ahead and place that mason jar in a dark area for one whole week. All right, so this is one week later. The Yahweh women believe that you can do it for a month, but I don't have patience, so I went ahead and fermented mine for one whole week. And this was the result of my rice water, the Yahweh women way. your last step is step 10 you're gonna go ahead and get a spray bottle get your funnel and you're going to transfer that one week old rice water into your spray bottle if this was a good video for you to watch do not forget to like and subscribe and also turn on your bill notifications so you can be notified each time I post a video video I will be making the hair series so that we can document where my hair is at this moment and where it's going to grow to so don't forget to definitely continue to keep tuning in to videos that I'll be posting because I want to make sure that I am giving you guys the real oh.